Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Just like the secular cosmologists have different planetary formation models, creationists have different interpretations of the actual process, of the divine conception of the universe. It is the combined theological and scientific perspective, of how God orchestrated the creation process. Although there are a few variations, there are five main creation models that top the list. They are, number one, the young earthers, sometimes referred to as six-day creationists. Number two, the mature universers. Number three, the theistic evolutionists. Number four, the gap theorists. And lastly, number five, the hyper-scientific creationists. Like most scientists, most creationists are very passionate about what they believe. Many are very black and white about the topic, with no time or patience for competing theories. Others are very open-minded, and feel that the topic is beyond a definitive human interpretation. So let's take a brief look at what each theory postulates. Number 1, the Young Earthers, sometimes referred to as Six-Day Creationists. They take the Genesis account of creation very literally. In their mind, God created the universe in six literal days, about 10,000 years ago. They view most scientific interpretations as being erroneous. They used to be the dominant majority, but not anymore. Number 2, The Mature Universers You can sum up the Mature Universe theory by asking a simple and silly question. How many times did God change Adam's diaper? Answer. None because God created Adam as a fully functioning and mature adult. They postulate that he did the same with the universe, creating it fully functioning and mature. By all appearances, Adam was created somewhere near 25 years old. By all appearances, the universe was created about 14 billion years old. Number 3, The Theistic Evolutionists Theistic evolutionists are idiots. End of discussion. Moving on to number 4. Just kidding, don't get your shorts all twisted up. I joke about the theistic evolutionists, because it is the least viable theory. The funny thing is that its proponents think they are taking the high road. In reality, it is a theory of unnecessary compromise. The theistic evolutionists combine Genesis, with the theory of evolution, and come up with, egg on their face. And why is that? There is absolutely no evidence for Darwinian evolution, or abiogenesis. Abiogenesis is the unfounded hypothesis, that life on Earth popped into existence, all by itself, from non-living chemicals, and evolution took over from there. But the fossil record shows explosions of life, not the Darwinian gradual process. The Cambrian explosion is the most well known. Thousands of species appear in the fossil record, with absolutely no evolutionary ancestors of any kind. Therefore, the theory of theistic evolution, is an unnecessary compromise. Number 4, The Gap Theorists The Gap Theorists hang their hat on one word in the book of Genesis. It is the word, became. And the earth became, formless and void. They theorize that God does not create anything formless and void, and since that verse says the earth became, formless and void, the word became, reflects a process. That process of becoming void took time, thereby creating a 14 billion year gap, between the creation of the universe, and the creation of mankind. And lastly, number 5, the hyper-scientific creationists. The hyper-scientific model is sometimes referred to as the hidden scientific model. The proponents of this theory believe that the Genesis account of creation contains hidden scientific revelations. They believe that God had to simplify the narrative to make it understandable to ancient man. But, they also believe that the Genesis account is totally scientifically accurate, in the original language it was written in, Hebrew. This is the most complicated creation theory, so we will just take a brief glimpse of what they believe. So going back to the original language, a totally valid, albeit an alternative translation could be. At the beginning of time, 14 billion years ago, 
the all-powerful one created out of nothing, the space, and the matter. And the matter was incomplete and undetectable. And there was no light upon the rotation of the abyss. And God's creative spirit energized the rotation of the waste. Then God commanded, light, and there was glorious light. They see the Genesis account as a revelation of the laws of physics, rather than just the tangible. To them, the first few verses of Genesis is revealing quantum mechanics, rather than just the physical earth. So when God said, let there be light, he was culminating E equals mc squared, with the constant of the speed of light. Like I said, this creation theory is quite complicated, and it would take a hundred videos to explain it. This brief explanation just scratches the surface, but it at least gives you an idea, of what the hyper-scientific theory teaches. So which of these creation models appeals to your worldview? They all have their pluses and minuses. But there are some people that reject them all, because they don't believe God was the source behind creation. The atheists hypothesize that God did not create the universe, it created itself. The atheists hypothesize that God did not create life on earth, it created itself. The atheists hypothesize that God did not create humanity, we evolved from bacteria. Their theories are based on the atheistic worldview of naturalism. Naturalism teaches that all things are natural, meaning that God is not an option. I'll be honest, creationism may be a bit confusing, but naturalism is downright impossible. And I'll take confusing over impossible any day. Peace be unto you and your house. Yes the topic can be a bit mystifying, but the perspective that you choose to embrace has immense and eternal ramifications. If you choose the unfounded hypothesis of naturalism, you may find that you chose the short straw. Embrace the reality of creation, and accept the Creator's offer of eternal life, through faith in Jesus Christ. There is a heaven to gain, and a hell to shun. Choose wisely my friend, your destiny awaits you.